Hello, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be composing music and then putting it on the actual N64 and listening back to it. And it's gonna be sick. We're gonna be using the ROM created by uh, Jerry from Behind the Code. Jerry with a G, I believe it's Jerry, right? Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description if you wanna do this yourself, it's really cool. It's, uh, you'll, you'll see. We're gonna be using this EverDrive when uh, it has USB in so you can, can you can just send the MIDI straight to the ROM from the computer and play it back on the console. It's so freaking cool. And I've always wanted to do something like this because it's like how they composed music for the N64 back in the day minus like the Windows 95 and probably very limited tech. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get started. So what I'm going to be doing is actually kind of uh using the sound fonts from the N64 to kind of replicate what they're going to sound like because then you got to like you got to prep it for export in FL Studio and uh you'll you'll see what I mean but pretty much you kind of got to link it's hard to explain <laughs> you pretty much got to make these into um like you got to make this into a MIDI right you export it as a MIDI to put it on the thing and it has to be the certain the right instrument assigned to it for the N64 or even the PC to be able to like read it correctly and have the right instruments on the right notes. I don't know. I probably explained that very poorly, but you'll you'll see what I mean when we get to it. Uh, let me pull the sound font up. I have a general N64 sound font, so I, I guess let's like make some sort of freaking ba 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 boss fight theme, right? It'd be pretty epic to play on the N64. Let's start. Let's just start with some percussion and just throw it down, dude. Do we have a snare? Let's get a snare line. What does orchestral mean? What the fuck? It just goes forever, dude. What the freak? Is that from the fucking DK rap? <laughs> I guess there's no fucking snare. I guess we'll try it. We'll, you, we'll, we'll just won't have a snare line, I guess. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll start with some timpanis. We can use those, right? Oh, those are, those are crisp. Ooh, okay. This needs to be in 3-4. I am feeling 3-4 today. Ooh. This will be oh we got we got name we gotta keep track of everything because we're gonna have to change it into like a thing later. We have staccato strings or something. Oh, oh that's kind of fire. We'll clone that, make it go twice, and we can uh maybe put some higher strings or maybe even brass on it. I don't know. Dun, dun, trombone. Oh. That sounds like uh Ass. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is clickbait? What do you mean this is clickbait? I guess it kind of is, huh? Because I'm not making music on the N64. Um, I'm just really just playing it back using the hardware. Fuck it. I don't care. Sue me, okay? Hey, someday when I'm rich, I'll buy an N64 DD and we'll use the Mario Paint shit on there. God damn, that's sick. Do we need a little bit of sh in there? You know what I'm saying? Do we have a little bit of sh Do we have a shaker? Oh my god, my voice died. <coughs> Do I not have a fucking shaker? The sound font sucks. See, I, the problem with using the drum kit is I know it's not on the damn MIDI thing. It can't just be the fuck. Like, there can't be no percussion on this damn thing. That sucks for me because all my music is like percussive heavy. Why is this on the sound font? What does the ocarina sound like? It's not a key. <laughs> That'd be so sick. I don't know if that'll actually come through on the MIDI though. We're gonna put it down just for now though, cause that's sick. Let's clone the cello and make it like uh, something else. <laughs> I kind of like the tremolo strings. It's pretty sick. So I do some old school rune tape, rune, rune tape, runescape type ish. I, I've gotten that before. I never played runescape. Oh. That's yeah, that's the money, dude. I really want to use the fucking ocarina for some reason. Let's use the mother freaking ocarina gamers. We need something cool for this second part here. What the fuck? I was not expecting to hear that in this sound font. That's literally the fucking Mario 64, like, star, like, when you enter a stage. 
They use that in fucking, uh, Koopa's Road from Mario 64 as well. Maybe Sitar? Noises I make, dude. It's just it's just music, bro. It's not that deep. I'm pretty sure we have a crash symbol. We got to, dude. I'm trying not to go too crazy because I'm not like 100% familiar with the uh, limitations of the N64. So for all I know, I could export this and then my N64 just catches on fire. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna be able to ex like export this crash symbol, but uh, we're gonna try. Oh wait, no, I want to use the ocarina still. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's sick. Okay, let's go back into the sitar part. I'm really interested to hear how the sitar is going to sound on the N64. So this is going to be a pretty simple track just for that reason. Also, you are on camera. Now, I'm going to try and fade this out, but I'm not sure if it's going to work, like export as the actual MIDI. So uh, I guess we'll try it, but I, I doubt it. I guess let's tr let's uh, get this ready to export as MIDI real quick. Uh, we're going to go to options or tools, macros. Prepare for MIDI export. Now it, what it did was turned every input into a MIDI thing. So now I just gotta go in and then match up the instruments to what they actually are. Okay, so it is exported as a MIDI. So now what I'm gonna do is take my USB cable and I'm going to uh, plug it in to my EverDrive, right? And then this is going back into the N64. And again, you can check out behind the code the one who, uh, the guy who made this little ROM and this, uh, the batch files that actually do all this. Very interesting, very fun. So you gotta have the N64, when you're using an EverDrive 64, you gotta have the N64 on and in this menu so it can actually, let me make this bigger. Cause the USB interface doesn't work without the EverDrive being on. So now what I do is I run this bat file. So we're gonna run this batch file and uh, as soon as I can find it, and it should transfer it to the EverDrive and the software should start automatically. And now you can't see it, but the uh, batch file is running and it is exporting. The EverDrive is lighting up. Um, it is exporting to the EverDrive into the, it's patching the ROM basically. And I think, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not very good with this. I'm not very technical with this stuff. Um, I just like to follow YouTube videos, I guess. Yeah, that is really weird. Okay, it automatically started. So now all we got to do is hit B and we should be able to uh, hear our MIDI. I'm actually kind of scared to do this because it might be all fucked up. But without further ado, I guess this is the final listen. Let's go gamers. Wait, I can't hear it because I don't have the right headphones on. sounded really cool what the freak dude i mean a little bit of stuff was wonky but uh damn okay that actually went way better than i thought it would um so yeah if you'd like to do this yourself it's all in the description i mean you gotta have an everdrive that actually has a usb on the side but uh those are obtainable um yeah that is actually really freaking cool probably one of the coolest videos i've ever done my next step that I want to do is I actually want to put a song into Mario 64. Um, I think it'd be cool to do that on stream, but I'm going to definitely learn how to do it and do it a couple of times. And then we'll make a Mario 64 song and put it in the game. 
I think that would be really cool. But uh, maybe I'm in over my head on that, but I think it's something I could figure out, right? Also, I just realized my fucking shirt green screens. I really picked the best shirt to wear for this uh, setup, didn't I? So yeah, that was me making music and playing it back on actual N64 hardware. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, come check me out on Twitch where you can see me do this kind of stuff live. Again, behind the codes video is down below if you want to check this out and do it yourself. It was really fun. And uh, yeah, I guess that is it. Bye.